It's um sometime. Hi guys, can you guess the title of my next video? Oh. <coughs> hmm. <coughs> hmm. Hurry up! Write your guess in the comment section below. Why are some people left-handed? Because <laughs> their left hand is much beautiful than their right. Oh, what? you are unbelievable. <laughs> Actually, till now, it is not fully understood why some people are left-handed while others are right-handed. A theory huh? suggests that genetics might play a role in determining the hand dominance. As per the theory, when a baby is developing in the womb, there are two forms of genes known as D and C which the baby can inherit from its parents. If the baby inherits a D gene from both the parents, then the baby will surely be right-handed. If the baby inherits D gene from one parent and C gene from the other, then the chances of baby being right-handed are much higher. However, if the baby inherits C gene from both the parents, then the baby will either be right-handed or left-handed. The chances are 50-50. How do nails grow? A nail huh? consists of many different parts. The visible part of the nail is called nail plate. The nail plate lies on the nail bed. Can I sleep on that bed? Oh, just listen. Oh. Matrix is the area where nail growth originates. It lies below the skin. Matrix has specialized cells which keep dividing and creating nail cells. The nail cells grow and produce a hard protein called keratin. Then, these keratin-filled cells are pushed forward as more new cells oh. are formed behind them. Eventually, the keratin-filled cells die and flatten to form the nail plate. The hard keratin in these dead cells gives strength to the nail and makes it hard. But what is the use of these nails? Nails protect our fingertips. Moreover, by observing the condition of our nails, doctors can get clues about our overall <laughs> health. How does an owl fly so silently? Because of a soundproof jacket! <laughs> nah. Usually, when birds fly, oh. they make sound. This is because when they flap their wings, the wings create violent, unsteady movements in air. Hmm? This is called turbulence. Turbulence produces sound. However, mm. an owl's wings have some <laughs> special features that help it to fly silently. What features? The leading edge of an owl's wing has oh. feathers that are serrated mm. like a comb. When an owl flies, these serrations break air yeah. into smaller streams. Then, as the smaller streams of air move towards the trailing edge, the soft fringe on the trailing edge breaks up the smaller streams even more. This causes very less turbulence, thus creating very little sound. However, even this little sound produced by turbulence is absorbed by the velvety feathers present on an owl's wings and legs, thus helping owls to fly silently. <laughs> Topic: Water purification. <laughs> Why is alum added to water? Aha! Uh -huh. Because water does not like to be alone. It wants somebody's company. Nah. Huh? Alum is added to purify water. Alum is aluminium sulfate. Hmm. It acts as a coagulant. A coagulant uh -huh. attracts and binds with extremely fine and small particles to form a large particle. Ew, I won't use it. But why? Because it will attract all small insects and make a large insect. Oh, you're just unbelievable. When a solution of alum is added to impure water, it attracts and binds with contaminants and fine suspended particles of mud, dirt, etc. <laughs> to form large particles. Being large, these particles can be removed by filtration, or when they settle down due to gravity, they can be removed through decantation, giving us pure water. <laughs> Topic: Ear. How do ears help with balancing? They really do. You don't believe me. Huh? Okay, can you play guitar oh. and walk at the same time? <laughs> How do you think you are able oh. to maintain your balance? Hmm? 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 Ah! Huh? Hmm? <laughs> 
Hmm? Do you know why you can't balance oh. yourself anymore? Hmm. Wait, I will tell you. <laughs> this happens because there is a connection between our ears and body balance. <laughs> Our ear consists huh? of three parts, outer ear, middle ear, and inner ear. Our huh? inner ear works in sync with our eyes and muscles, helping us maintain balance while we are doing various activities. <laughs> the inner ear consists of three semicircular canals huh? called superior semicircular canal, posterior semicircular canal, and a lateral semicircular canal. The three huh? semicircular canals are arranged in three different positions. Oh. Each of these canals has a fluid oh. called endolymph <laughs> and hair cells huh? called cilia at the base. Whenever we move our head, the fluid moves, resulting in the movement of the cilia as well. Oh. Hmm? When the cilia moves, it sends signals to the brain informing which direction our head has just moved in. Each oh. canal has different huh? functions as per the movement of our head. Hooray! When we move our head up and down, the superior semicircular canal helps Whoa. our brain to understand the yes motion. <laughs> when we tilt our head towards our shoulders, the posterior semicircular canal helps our brain to understand the tilting motion. When we move our head from side to side, the lateral semicircular canal helps our brain to understand the no motion. It was too complicated, right? Okay, don't worry about it. Relax. Why don't you go on a merry-go-ride? Hey, why were you not able to maintain huh? your balance? Hmm? This is because when you sat in the merry-go-round and started <laughs> rotating, the fluid oh. in the semicircular canals also started huh? to move. Huh? After a while, it was moving at oh. the same rate at which you were moving. However, hmm? when the ride stopped and you got down from the ride, oh. the fluid was still in motion due to inertia. Hence, hmm? even though you were not hmm. moving, the moving fluid gave your brain false information telling you that you are still in motion. Thus, you are not able to maintain your balance. Mm.